Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications for all our future tutorials. You can also follow me on Instagram at iClone3D. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can use my PayPal email below and any donations are greatly appreciated. Now without further ado, let's crack on with the tutorial. So today we're gonna to be looking at lighting and how to light your scenes uh, manually, how you might light your film set in a real world scenario. So we're gonna be looking at three point lighting. Now, when we load up our scene in iClone, you can see that we've already got some preliminary lights set up. So I didn't set these lights up, these automatically set up themselves to give you a little bit of lighting in the scene. What you're gonna to wanna to do is turn those lights off. So in our scene tab here, you can see we've got a key, we've got a side and we've got a backlight and we've also got the floor shadow. We're just gonna turn all of these off and you're gonna see the scene gets a little bit dark, but not completely pitch black how we want it to be. And the reason that is, is because we've gotta go into our visual tab down here and then we've got to turn our IBL lighting off. Now, if you don't know what IBL lighting is, it's basically image-based lighting and it will replicate light from any image and it will place it in the scene. Of course, you can't just use a JPEG image. You have to use what's known as a HDRI map and that will then uh, transcend the light from the HDRI map into your scene. So if we come down here to the strength very quickly, we can see if we adjust that, the light starts to increase in our scene. If we turn that all the way down, that will go pitch black. And of course, we can completely blow it out by going all the way up. Now, what we want to do, again, we just want to turn this off. So we want to deactivate that by clicking this little tick, tick box. And that will then turn your scene completely dark, as you can see here. Now, before we set up our own lighting, of course, we want to be able to see around the scene. So to do that, you just want to turn on the auxiliary light, which is up here, this little light bulb or this little sun ray. If you just click that, that will turn on the auxiliary light and you can see around the scene. Now, just a quick note, um, in case some of you, you know, wanted to kind of, you know, if you like this image, this look with the auxiliary light on and you thought, hey, I want to render that out. I'm just going to show you very quickly that if I try to render that out and hit export, and I'll just save that as a test, you'll see that only renders out a black image. And the reason that is, is because you can't actually render out the auxiliary lighting. So just a quick tip, never try to render out anything with the aux lighting on because it won't render out. So the auxiliary light is just so we can see around our scene while we're setting up our own lighting. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set up a three point lighting and this is going to give us some incredible results. In order to do that, um, we're going to go up to create and we're going to create a quick light and we're going to just create a spotlight. Now a three point lighting is, you know, typical in you know a filming scenario and it's you know one of the most commonly used light setup and um you know it's just a great way to get some really good lighting going on on your actor or your subjects and it looks amazing so this is really um this tutorial is really focusing on how to light your subjects up in the best way now we're going to start with a key light. So this is going to be our key light. And as you can see, nothing's happening yet. And the reason being is because we've got our auxiliary light turned on. So if we turn that off, you can start to see the light take effect. Now, very important, a key light, you're always going to want to set your key light up to the side of your camera about 20 to 45 degrees. So if our camera position is like this, your key light is going to want to be to the side of the camera um, and it's going to be about 20 to 45 degrees from the side. So you can, you know, choose whatever you fancy, but this will serve as our key light and that's going to basically light up the model and, you know, be the main kind of source of light that we've got. Now, as you can see, we've got some shadow here on the side of the face still. And the second step in our lighting process is to create a fill light. So we've done our key light, which is the main light. Now our fill light is gonna basically fill in any kind of areas where there's shadow and it will remove those shadows for us. So again, we're just gonna to wanna to go to create and we're gonna create a spotlight and we're just gonna drag this into position. And again, this will serve now as our fill light. Now, very important with a fill light, it wants to be 50% less power than the key light. So effectively, uh, we're gonna pull it further away and it's gonna be 50% less uh, powerful. So to do that, we're just gonna click on our key light here quickly. And we're gonna come into the modify tab and we can see our multiplier is on two. So this one, our key, our fill light, we're gonna have that on one. So we'll just take that down to one. And then we're just going to want to position that 
in the right place just to be kind of uh, reaching the side of the face. Okay, I'm not sure what I moved there. I think I've moved the wrong thing. Okay, so we'll just uh, position that. And now we can see that removes uh, the shadow. So if I just move that back, we can see the shadow on the face here. And effectively, we want the fill light to uh, fill that area in and remove that shadow. So we can see that starting to take place. And you may just want to move the fill light back a little bit so it's not as close. Uh, about there looks brilliant. Uh, so we've got our key light here and we've got our fill light here. Now, as you can see, we're getting a pretty decent look on our screen here. So what we want to do next is we just want to add our third light, which is our backlight. And again, this is known as a three point light setup. And um, this is going to get you some, you know, some of the best results to light a subject up in your scenes. Um, so I'll just um, come around here. It's taking me out of view. Let me just get me into position. And so this is going to serve now as our backlight in our scene. And I'll just get that into play. And you can just see how that's lighting up the back of our subject here. And we're just going to increase the strength of that a little bit just to make that pop a little bit more. Okay, so if I just hit J on my keyboard, that should get me in position to go around my character. Now you can see the lighting looks really, really cool on the subject. Um, you can see our key light taking effect here. Uh, you can see the fill light here, filling out the side of the subject's face. And we can see with the backlight here, it just brings that nice halo glow around the hair. Um, so, you know, really, really simple and really easy way to, you know, get a three point light set up going. Now, we don't stop there. What we can do from here on out is, you know, you may want to add some now background lights uh, to bring out your background and just get a much better looking image overall. Uh, to do that, what we can do is we can create some point lights. So if we go to our light and instead of a spotlight, we'll just create some point lights. And as you can see already, this brings out the background a whole lot more. So what we'll do is we'll just position that around here and uh, we'll just raise that up just a little bit, or you can keep it down depending on kind of what you're going for. And I'll just bring that a little bit further in. And then what we can do is just decrease that just a touch, just so we're not kind of overpowering. So if we turn it out completely, you can see there's nothing there. But if we just bring it up just a little bit, ever so slightly, we can see uh, the background starts to pop in to play. And what we can do is we can just add a little color filter on these just to kind of spice up the scene a little bit and make it a little bit more dramatic. So I'll just add this kind of nice blue color here. And you can see already what that does to the scene is it just makes it a little bit more atmospherical and it gives it a little bit more feel into the scene. And um, I'll just increase that a touch not too much. We don't want to do it too much. And then what we can do is we can just hit control and drag and we can create another one of these lights. So we can just position it up here a little bit just to bring out a little bit more of the uh, top areas of the background. And uh, you can see that starts to bring that out a little bit more. And again, we can just play around with the values here and increase that a little bit. Uh, just to get a little bit more of a look. And now you can start to see, you know, the little cobwebs up here in the corner come out and, uh, you know, it just looks really, really cool. So if I go back in here now and um, I'll just turn off all the lights as well so we can't see them in our scene. Oops, I've turned off my character. So we'll just turn off all the lights we've set up so we don't have to see them in the scene. And then if I come back here, we can just see the results of what we have created. So, you know, it looks really good. Um, it looks really um, interesting and uh, if we go in close you can see now if you feel the lighting's a bit strong on your character we can always adjust that um, just by clicking on our lights um, and amending them here in the modify tab so we've got um, our spotlight here and what we can do is just so we can remember as well we can just name them uh, we'll name this our key light and um, our fill light and this will just really help you remember what lights are what um, so I'll just leave these blank for now. So um, we're going to go on our key light here and we're just going to bring that down a little bit. So it's not so harsh on the face. And this is the kind of, this is the important part to really get in the light looking realistic because you don't want to be overpowering it and making it. The trick is to not make it seem like there's lights in the scene, um, but uh, more so it's being lit up by whatever lights are going on 
internally in the scene opposed to artificial light that's been set up. So we'll just crank that down to about there. And remember we have amended this so we always want to amend our fill light because it has to be half of what the key light is. Uh, so we'll just go over to our fill. And if that's 112, this is going to be about 0.60 then. So we'll just change that to 0.63. And um, you can see it looks much more realistic um, instead of kind of being too blown out in our scene. So that concludes your tutorial, guys. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to uh, drop a comment below and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. And I uh, really hope the tutorial helps. Really hope it helps you go away, get really creative and really hope to see you again soon for another tutorial.